Question 33. A cell of negligible internal resistance, great, no internal resistance, is connected to a resistor R1, R2, R3. Okay, okay, some parallel, some series. The cell provides power to the circuit and power is dissipated in the resistors. Sure, of course, that is to be expected. Which word equation must be correct? Wow, must some more. Okay, okay. Let's examine them one by one. Option A. Power dissipated in R1 is equal to R2 plus power dissipated in R3. Yes, meh? Got meh? No. Why not, miss? Wouldn't the potential be the same? Let's say this is V. Sure. And there's no uh, loss votes due to battery. So here is V. And this whole thing is V. Wouldn't they have the same power dissipated? Well, power dissipated is not just dependent on V. It's also dependent on R. And R1, R2, R3 are probably not the same resistance. So P is equal to V squared over R. And this is wrong because although the V is the same, R1 may not... be equal to R2 plus R3. Am I sure that they are not equal? Don't know. But they may not. And they say must be correct. So you see how I Tai Chi the responsibility? I can't say that they are equal. But if they are equal, then it can be correct. So this is wrong. Must without a shadow of doubt. Okay, power dissipated in R2 equal to R3. Same reasoning, not possible. This is only true if R2 equal to R3. So R2 may not be equal to R3. So this is also wrong. Hiya. This one is... Yeah, so this is why when I started the recording for this paper, I did mention that there's a lot of paper, there's a lot of questions that's testing your concepts. Okay, next, power output of the cell, okay, sure, is equal to power dissipated in R1 plus power dissipated in R2 plus power dissipated in R3. This will be yes, conservation of energy. Correct, ding, ding. Okay, why? Because at the end of the day, whatever current that flows through this one, Let's say I want to use power equation to justify, right? So let's say the current that comes out of this one is I. So the power dissipated or the power output in the cell is Vi. Okay. So by the time the current reach here, but means the current will split wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Let's say this is I1 and let's say this is I2. Okay. But whatever current that splits, right? After that, they will recombine here one. This is still I. So if you want to, you can actually prove that the current, if let's say, for example, the power dissipated by the cell is Vi. Let's say I want to find the power dissipated in R1. This will be equal to I1, R, no wait, I1, I square, I1 square, R1. Okay, and then you can find, should I put VI? Yeah, I should put VI, sorry. I should put VI1. And then the power in R2 will be V. You see, yeah, this one, I have to combine them. Because I don't know what ratio they are sharing. Is it 1 to 1, 2 to 1, 3 to 4, don't know. So I will combine this whole thing, V times I2. Okay, but you see, uh, I1 plus I2 is equal to I. Also, I1 plus I2 is equal to I. Okay, this is power in R2 and R3. This is VI2. Okay, so if it's a bit unclear, hang on. Power dissipated in R1 is VI1. This is V. And this is the I1 that passes through this resistor. No problem. Slight problem 
when you look at power dissipated in R2 and R3. The reason why I cannot separate them into power dissipated in R2 and power dissipated in R3 is because I don't know the value of R2 and R3. If I know them, then I can use ratio, but I don't know. But what I do know is I can assume R2 and R3 is combined together into one big resistance because they are in series anyway, right? And they have the same current flow. So I will take I power in R2 and R3 to be the total potential difference across R2 and R3 multiplied by I2. But also because this I1 and I2 came from the splitting of I, I can say I is equal to I1 plus I2. When the current come here from I, it will split into I1, it will split into I2. So because of this, I can substitute inside, right? So hence, the total power in R1, R2, R3 will be equal to V, I1 plus I2, because I add these two together. V I2 and V I1. Okay. And this will finally be equal to V times I, which is the same as the power output of the cell. Okay. All right, so that's why C is correct. And just by elimination, you will know that D is also wrong because power dissipated in R1, then what about R2? What about R3? Don't they receive current? Wouldn't they have power dissipated as well? Okay, so what is equal is potential difference. But potential difference is energy per unit charge. It has nothing to do with power direct. I mean, there's some distant relationship, but they are not the same thing. So use your power equation to decide which one will have the same power. Okay, what is equal is actually the potential difference. Okay, work done per unit charge and rate of work done is not the same thing. So this is uh, hopefully clear enough and not too zoomed in now that I look at the screen. Okay, so the whole point is examine the equation one by one and try to get ready the statements to see what are, is it true no matter what or is it true only under certain condition? For option A, option A is only true if R1 is equal to R2 plus R3, but you don't know. Option B is only true if R2 equal to R3 because P is equal to V squared over R. I know the V is the same, but the R may not be the same. So A and B is conditional, may not be correct, may be correct, we don't know. Okay, so when they change the mass to may, then A and B is okay. But C is confirmed correct because you can, you don't want to prove this way also can, you can obviously use conservation of energy. Because there's no internal resistance, whatever the cell gives, it will be used outside total. Make sense, ma? Cell give 100 joule in one second, then R1, R2, R3 will use up that 100 joule in one second. Okay, energy per unit time. The power output of the cell cannot just be R1 because there's also R2 and R3. The takeaway here is don't confuse potential difference which is work done per unit charge with power, which is work done per unit time. They are both work done per unit something. Don't confusion between them. One is how much energy for one coulomb of charge. One is how much energy in one second. All right, that's it for this statement question about power in different resistors.